What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually at Fletcher Park. Um, I don't know the actual name of the park. It's just a little park in Fletcher. It's an eight hole course. Used to be nine holes, but there's a pickleball court now where the basket for one used to be. So it's eight holes. Not really playing a full round, but I have an interesting and could possibly be controversial take. We need to talk about the trail. I don't think it's as straight as everyone thinks it is. Everyone says it's a it's a longer crave, it's similar to a passion where it's just super laser beam straight. And I don't think it is that. Every time I've ever thrown it, you get a lot more play left to right and then back to the left than you do from a negative one one. So I have a disc that we're gonna test it against today. This is the end of a beast. 10, five, negative two, two and I haven't thrown a halo beast, so we'll see how it flies. But I think that a beast is more similar comparison to the trail than a longer crave or a longer passion or any of those negative one one discs. It's just not as laser beam straight, but we're gonna test that today. trail is 10 5 negative 1 1 beast is 10 5 negative 2 2 based off of rim size the trail feels like it might not be a true 10 speed it feels like in between an 11 and a 10 speed it's on the bigger side of 10 this beast is pretty much traditional 10 speed rim we're gonna toss them both today mostly throwing on hyzer because these discs tend to want to pop up and ride well, what I've been experiencing with the trail is that instead of giving that pop up and ride that you'll get from a crave or a passion, it gets a pop up and ride and then a turn and a drift before it fades. So it's it's got more play. Let's throw the trail first and then we'll go beast. Um, right next to the pad for two, but all the tee pads here are gravel. So we'll probably be thrown from the grass a lot. That was a grip lock. Got saved by the stake. I think Beast might have been a touch more hyzer. Also, Halo plastic and it's just Halo is a little more stable than if I had grabbed a star. But I needed something bright that I could see on camera, and that was definitely the brightest beast in the store. I think it should be said that this is 170, and this is 173, 175. So this is basically max weight. This one's on the little, a little bit lighter, not too much so. This hole's kind of bends off to the right though, so I'm gonna put the beast flat, and just because of the halo, I think it needs to be a little bit flatter for it to turn. And the trail is definitely going to be on just a touch of hyzer and it should flip and drift. Yeah, so the beast has more fade just from the halo. And I think what's doing that is I think this one actually flies more like an S. It's more like a negative 2-1 because you're going to get more flip and play on that line, but it doesn't feel like it's fading as hard or maybe MVP is just better at getting their discs to fit, turn and then drift. Innova just kind of, you have to kind of beat Innova's discs in or else they don't really turn very much. I don't know what kind of negative one one that was, that came out on more hyzer than the beast and it turned more than the beast. So I'm already seeing more play and flip out of this. Hopefully this hole will be able to get to see them fly fairly similar because I think I keep releasing the beast wrong. So let's give it a rip.
bit of a tailwind, so I never really got all the way over. But hopefully I can flip this because right now this this specific beast is flying almost like a PD. I'm having trouble flipping it up. So I think I'm just releasing it wrong. Yeah, something's off with my release. I think it keeps coming out nose up and I'm not sure why. I'll have to fix that on the next D pad. Completely honest and fair to both the beast and to the trail. I keep expecting this beast to fly like a beast that I used to throw, which was pretty beat in. And this beast is not really handling the same because brand new beasts are apparently a good bit more overstable than I remember the beast that I had being. That being said, the trail exemplifies the numbers of a beast, the flight numbers of a beast, not the flight numbers on the trail. So hopefully with a couple more like head windy holes, we might be able to have a little bit more flip out of the beast and a little more play. And hopefully I'll be able to get it to at least flat, if not a touch nose down and we'll get a good beast flight out of it. But so far I haven't got the beast flight. I've only been getting maybe flip up to flat and then hyzer out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go beast first. Hopefully I can crush it and actually get a good up, but down, launch angle up, nose angle down. Really. like a PD. I don't remember beasts flying like that. I remember beasts being a good bit straighter. See how much more that flips up? One of those says negative one and one of those says negative two. It's almost like they need to switch the numbers. That beast is flying like a wraith. It's kind of stable. All right, maybe I should have gone for the G-Star just for this comparison purposes, but whatever. We'll figure it out eventually. I also, as I was walking over here from picking up the discs, I realized that my form has changed drastically. And what I used to throw to get the beast to go straight, I'm not throwing this beast the same way. So gonna switch up my form a little bit try to go back to the old flat torque it and it should should give me more of the traditional beast flight hopefully because I've been missing that that flight see that's what I was expecting that flight that's it So if you're throwing on hyzer, trail's gonna fly like your beast. If you throw on anhyzer, or no, trail on hyzer, a trail flies like a brand new torqued over beast. I'm not gonna say anhyzer because it's not real anhyzer. It's like just a minutest angle. It's more of just torquing it over as I'm releasing it, as it's coming out of my hand, and it's able to get that nose more down. So. And yes, yes, I'm, I realize that I changed the form for them to follow the, fl the same flight path. But that's because the way I expect the beast to fly is from a different style of throwing. So could be all in my head. I'm still not super excited about the trails numbers. I still think the flight numbers are a little off. I think it's un more understable or just has more play left to right than the negative one one that it's giving. Let's throw uh, one, maybe two more drives and ho hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit more comparisons. There's the name of the course, Crookston Disc Golf Course, 540, definitely can't reach. But is that gonna stop me from trying? No, I definitely can't throw 540, especially not with a 10 speed. 
but gonna give it my best rip. What I'm gonna try though is there's a there's a ditch up there like 70 to 100 feet short. I want to try to make it to that ditch. Hopefully I can push it that far. We have a bit of a tailwind so I have a chance but I'm gonna have to rip both of these. Right into the ground. Not a good throw. Well, that was a good rip. Still didn't get like circle two for the ditch. I'm so far away still. The last drive is gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna try to throw them on enough hyzer that I don't flip up into the cars, which is, I'm gonna have to really try. This one, it's gonna be a little bit easier. This one, a lot of hyzer. As far as my conspiracy goes, it's, it's both true and false at the same time, which is, it's annoying. The brand new trail flies like a beaten wraith or like a wraith that I used to throw, or not a wraith, a beast, beaten beast. Beast I used to throw all the time. I lost that beast. It's somewhere in a pond at Upper Badlands, right outside Denver, Colorado. I'm probably never getting that beast back because it was there like four years ago. However, this beast, flies on my backhand, just torque it onto its line, flies like a hyzer flip trail. If you throw the trail flat, it's going to give you a lot more turn and a lot more drift over to the right. Something that I'm not necessarily getting from this specific beast, but if you have a beast that's been seasoned in a little bit, you're going to get that from your beast. You'll get that from the trail as well. So if you like it, make sure you buy it. I'm not sure because I, I do kind of have a gap in my bag. I have PDs and then I have time lapses. I don't really have anything kind of in between that'll give me more of that straight push. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go trail, not sure if I'm going to go beast. We'll see. Maybe this throw will tell me what I need to know. So I'm going to pop them all. We're going to throw trail first though. Great fight. So the beast definitely brand new, especially in the halo plastic, is going to give you more of that, a little bit less of that flip up. But the more it beats in, it might get more drift than the trail. I don't know because form has changed. My form has changed so much. I don't remember exactly how much drift I got out of the beast. But I know that if I torqued it just properly, I'd get it to go laser beam straight just like that hyzer flipped throw from the trail. So all in all, it's a hot take. I don't know if it's the correct take. If you have, if you have your own opinions on it, make sure to comment that down below, but make sure to like the video. If you enjoy content like this, please make sure to subscribe helps you out with all those subscribe only giveaways and it definitely helps me out. And until next time, see you out on the course.